Hey there, Gipsters. So we're now in our fourth week, I think, of being at home. And I don't know about you guys, but being at home all the time has been making me pretty sad and lonely. So I was thinking that if I'm feeling sad and lonely, most likely other people are feeling the same way as me. So I started thinking, what can I do to maybe make people feel a little less sad? One thing that I always like to get that really cheers me up is a gift basket. And if you know me in my classroom, you know that I keep a prize box um, behind my desk. So I thought that I would make a kind of prize box of my own and help spread a little bit of love, a little bit of happiness to other people. Um, so while I and a lot of you guys have been sitting at home, some people have still had to go to work. They've been called essential employees. Um, so this could be people who are working in a grocery store, um, people who work in healthcare, like nurses and doctors. Um, but what I was specifically thinking of for this video was delivery drivers, because I keep seeing them every single day. They come into my apartment building and they deliver things that have been helping me make these videos for you guys every day, like whiteboards and books, right? So I really have a lot to thank them for. So I thought that I would make them a gift basket and I would put it out for them and they can take things from it like my prize box at school. So while I was doing my grocery shopping this week, I picked up a few things that I thought, I don't know, people might like. Um, I would definitely encourage you guys to make a gift basket or a prize box at home as well. You could give it to um, essential employees like I'm doing or make something for your parents or for your siblings. Um, or leave something that you could put out on your porch. Um, be creative, do whatever you th think would be nice, right? So that's what this video is all about. It's about sharing kindness, um, showing love, even when we're cooped up indoors, because we can always still show love. So I'll show you what I got for my gift basket. Yours could look completely different. Um, so the first thing I got was a little basket, a little box. Um, I thought it was cute. I got some candy because I love candy. Um, we've got some little chocolate bunnies. We've got some Starbursts. Um, what I really wanted to get was little mini hand sanitizers, but my store was all out of them. If your store, if you guys have any little mini hand sanitizers, that might be cute to put in a gift box. But I got instead, I got some mini lotions and I got some little chapsticks because I like those things. I thought other people might like those things. Um, and then my last thing that I have, I have an index card and some tape. I'm going to write a little note to it and tape it to the front. Um, guys, if you are following along and you're doing this at home, you definitely don't have to go out grocery shopping to do this. You could fill the entire basket with, um, notes, little notes and little cards and little pictures and drawings. Um, I definitely would do that if I were more artistic than I am. Uh, I'm not artistic. I can't draw anything as many of you know, so I want the candy route. Okay, I'm going to build my box. Uh, I encourage you to follow along with me as I do it. Okay. Okay, gifters. So I went and put the gift basket next to my mailbox so that when the delivery drivers come and bring mail and packages tomorrow, they can grab what they'd like. Uh, gifters, I highly encourage you guys to make some kind of a gift basket. Uh, like I said, for anybody, for your neighbors, your family, your friends, your siblings, essential workers, whoever you think could use a little bit of love, because I think we could all use some love during this time. If you do end up make a, making a gift basket, please send it to me, share it with me so that I can feel the love that you're giving other people. Um, and think about how it makes you feel to share love with others. All right, Kipster, see you tomorrow.